Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to implement Work Manager API student background process in our Android app. So let's begin. We'll create a new project. Click next. Name it anything. Work Manager app. Click finish. Wait for the environment to load. In the meantime, when the environment is loading up, I'll just quickly show you. Most of the steps we will be taking up from this particular page of Android developers where they give the steps of how to start with Work Manager and before that we can quickly have a look on the overview. So Work Manager is recommended a solution for persistent work that is basically this is primarily to recommended API for running background process. So that's what we are trying to achieve over here. So let's get back to our Android Studio environment. The app, the environment is still loading up so we may have to wait longer. Perfect, the environment has come up. I think I'll run it in an emulator in parallel so that the app can load. It takes a while, uh, many times. And the first and foremost thing is in this example uh, of work manager, what I'll do is I'll check the Wi Fi state. So for that, I need a uh, user permission of accessing the Wi Fi state. Okay, so apart from that, in the main activity, uh, before doing anything in the main activity, what I also do is in the layout. Um, what I'll do is, in, apart from the text view, I'll just insert a button. And this button is something which we'll use as a trigger to initiate our work manager. Although the work manager can be initiated in the own create method, but I want to keep a control. So, start work manager. Okay, you can give any text, it doesn't matter. Anyway, your trigger point should be not a button, but it should be some uh, very normal workflow in your app. Okay. I'll go back to my Java code and over here I'll define a public method public void button work manager view view perfect and I'll go back in my layout and associate this uh, method with the on click attribute of this particular button so which is over here perfect so once done it I think I don't need text view but Okay, for the timing, I'll keep it. I'm not sure if I can. I will be needing it, and I'll just probably create a local variable called text view, text view, and associate it with the find view by id r dot id dot text view perfect, and associate it with the text view in the our widget. Now in our app. We will follow the instructions given in this page of the Android developers. Although it's pretty simple. So first and foremost is asking us to include certain dependency. So I think we just need the dependency for Java only. Uh, I won't be doing in Kotlin, so I won't include this and all others are optional. So I'll just skip it. I'll just need this one. I'll just control C, go back to my Android Studio and in the app level, build or get a file, go down here and paste and it may ask you to sync now I think uh, yeah, I will leave all the things as it is and sync the gradle to include this particular implementation I will go back to the environment uh, to the portal again and he is asking me to create a another class called upload worker you can name anything in this class and but it should extend the worker so let's do this so I go back to my environment and over here right click and new class java class i'll give it same name but you can give any name to it it doesn't require to be same extends and the, it should extend the worker it's giving some uh, error so it's asking you to implement methods please do it and i think it will also ask to implement some constructor yeah please do it so if i go back switch back to the portal if you notice it's almost similar to what it's defined here so this is the constructor and then the do work method is implemented here uh, as it's given over there in the uh, instructions over here. Okay, so over here in the do work, just before this return uh, uh, method, we can do whatever we want to do. So here in this portal, uh, the in the Android uh, developer portal, they have asked to call some upload images method, but we don't have that. So we'll do whatever we want to do in this over here. So I'll show you how to 
So I will just write no right to do's. I will implement the Wi-Fi implementation here. But before that, let's complete our steps. So if I go back, go for the DOM. So it's also asking the result uh, return. Oh, so we can set different kinds of return like success, failure, and all those things. But I think I'll keep it null. Uh, I just want to keep it short and simple. And then in our <laughs> Java code in the main uh, side, we can implement this uh, upload work request. So which is basically to uh, start the request or to trigger it to uh, build it. So I'll control, I'll copy it again. I'll this time I'll go to the main Java code and this we can do it in the on create method. Please implement uh, or include the classes whatever it's asked to include so i'll change it as a class variable and not a local variable so i'll just make it a private class variable over here and then i'll come back here and yeah because i will be accessing the same variable in our uh, button uh, method as well below so over here so it's good that we can make it as a class variable Perfect. So this is for one-time request. I'll use one-time work request, but I'll also show you. I will also show you. You could have done it in a repeated request. So let me create something called another one upload work. But I'll comment it out. This is just for, uh, uh, yeah, just for display purpose. So if you see, if you, no, not repeatable. I think it should be periodic. Uh, periodic work request. So this is the second option. So in this, if you choose this periodic work request, it will periodically send the request at a regular intervals. So what are the parameters you have to fill is first is of course the class. And then I think you have to fill the interval time. So the second argument will be the interval time, which could be anything say. So for example, I put uh, interval uh, is 10, 1000, but the unit has to be defined. So third will be the unit. What is, should be the unit? So time unit probably milliseconds but one thing to note okay i think uh, i should do this build that's all um yeah but one thing to note here you can't give 1000 milliseconds because as far as i know the minimum time uh, interval should be of 15 minutes so i just make a note here 15 minutes so according to 15 minutes it should be uh, 15 into 60 into 1000 so this must be the minimum interval so you can have it uh, probably more than something like that so 16 minutes or something like that but that 15 is a minimum uh, time interval is minimum time interval so yeah that's the minimum required and that's the reason why i'm not able to show you this periodic work request in this demo because 15 minutes is too long for me to show this demo uh, over here to check the minimum time interval, what we can also do is we can go to this builder uh, uh, class. Uh, just press Ctrl B on builder and it will take you to the place where it is implemented. So over here, this is the implementation what we are using. Uh, and here if you see, yeah, this is the one which I was talking of that the repeat interval must be greater than or equal to the minimum periodic interval. So if I click on this and it's a static uh, variable and yeah, that's what I was doing and that's what I have taken. 15 into 60 into 1000 uh, milliseconds. This should be in milliseconds. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you. But anyway, that's just for display purpose. Uh, you Anyway, I won't be taking up the demo of the repeat uh, uh, or the periodic work request. I'll just comment out this part of the code, but I'll keep it in the code because when I'm putting this part of the code in my portal, it's available to you. Anyway, for this demo, we'll be using one time work request. Now further down, if I go uh, in the portal as well, so this is the part of the code which we have to use to trigger or enqueue uh, to submit your work request to work manager using the enqueue method. So that's what we'll be doing here. So I'm just pasting what I got from the code and that should solve the purpose. Instead of my context, you can use the disk or the application context. Uh, it should be same. Perfect. So I just do control alt i. So that's all is what I guess from the Java code perspective. Probably what we can do is we can use the text view what we created initially over here to say work manager executed. This is just for because I initialized this widget, this variable, so I'm using it. 
Now the main task remains is over here, which is the to do part. So this is the part where we'll be doing our or implementing our functionality. So this is the worker thread. So please note many of these activities or tasks you can't run on the worker thread. So for that you may have to initialize the context. I mean there are multiple ways you can also use the handler and the looper uh, objects to run on the main handle. But I'll be using this main executor and I will be taking the application context. So I'm just trying to uh, get the access to the main application uh, and run few things which is not accessible over here in this particular uh, uh, worker class. Okay, so in this new runnable, this is the place where it's a, it will form a separate thread and that's where we can uh, run our few things. So I will run something called toast very frequently to show certain messages. So say for example, in the initial part, I can show the application context and probably worker, work manager, the starter. So it will come as a, a small toast uh, below in the layout. And what else can I do is toast dot length should be short or, or you can decide upon what the length should be. I'll just use that one. Okay, so this is just to Make sure that user understands that yeah, work manager or just to display that work manager has started. Uh, okay, I can put probably tuck, tuck, tuck. and no, once this is done, then I can use something like uh, Wi Fi manager. Okay, before that, uh, let me just ignore this. Let me first create a Wi Fi manager, and in this Wi Fi manager, I will just do is I first get application context, get system service, and in this uh, get system service, what I can do is I can context dot wi-fi service perfect so i think i can bring it here yeah i may have to type cast so let me see yeah perfect please do it okay so once we have wi-fi manager uh, the object created so we can use this wi-fi manager to check whether wi-fi enabled or not if it's enabled then we'll uh, display true otherwise we'll display false so i will copy paste this part of the toast the complete toast. I'll just change the text over here. So Wi-Fi probably Wi-Fi is enabled. Wi-Fi enabled. The spelling is wrong. Probably I will change it from short to long duration. I will like it to be displayed for a little longer time, which will be easier for me to show it in this demo. And over here I'll say disabled. Perfect. So that's all. Is what I guess I will just run this code and in the emulator wait for the emulator to come up so it's pretty simple this will run as a uh, it's saying to open app inspection okay so I can dismiss I don't want to go for the inspection right now so rest of things looks good uh, I don't know why it switched to the document part yeah so once I click this work manager executed okay perfect no, I think the spelling was wrong. It's not wife enabled. I'm sorry. It is no, no, no. It should have been Wi-Fi enabled and Wi-Fi disabled. I hope I have not done the spelling mistakes anywhere else. I will read on the code. But yeah, it's working in principle. Only the spelling of this. Uh, some mistake was there. Uh, spelling mistake. But uh, okay, so it's there and Wi-Fi was is enabled right now. Uh, let me disable also first and see how it comes up because for the enable part we have already seen. So I'm going here and I'm disabling it so that and it's disabled on the top. Also, you can see the Wi-Fi uh, signal has gone. The symbol has gone. If I bring it down, it's no more enabled the Wi-Fi mode. Okay. If I click here, Wi-Fi manager executed. Wi-Fi started. Wi-Fi disabled. The toast is coming up except for a long duration I have given in intensely so that I can show you. In this, the first part is this, the line number 26. It will always be called irrespective of whatever this particular, so, so we get to know that this particular method is being called. And then it's executing this part of if else where it's checking whether Wi-Fi is enabled or not and accordingly it's doing it. So let me know, enable it once again and check it again. So I'm enabling it. Probably I'll yeah and uh, so if i wi-fi has come up now and if i click if you see this symbol here wi-fi is enabled and um, yeah i'll just 
Wi-Fi enabled. Perfect. So this is the line which is gone. So that's all I wanted to show you how easy it is. You have to just create this uh, another class which extends worker and do work will be the method where it will get created. If you are going to do certain stuff which doesn't require the access to the UI layout and all, then in fact your job becomes easier. You don't have to create any of this uh, uh, new renewables and all, a new thread. You can do directly in this do work class. Say for example, you have to, if you have to access something over internet or upload images or something uh, similar to what the example they have given in this uh, particular uh, uh, method that if you have to upload images then it becomes pretty easy but otherwise uh, if you have to access the widgets or UI then you have to run it in a separate runnable or do a few things which is a bit complicated in Android uh, but you have to do it this way so that's all I hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.